Hey guys, Caleb here. It is August 21st, the day of the eclipse on the U.S. I'm in Massachusetts now, so I don't have the total eclipse, but I got it okay. I wanted to talk about how I created my own homemade solar eclipse viewing glasses. It's not like a cheap plastic thing with black lenses on it. No, it's my own creation, and uh, I'll show it to you in a little bit when the uh, eclipse comes. It is in a little less than an hour, so it's at 2.46. I believe. Now, right now, it's like 150. I'll uh, get to you when it happens, and I'll be wearing my awesome creation. The creation is very unique. Sorry, I couldn't get this information out sooner, so you could actually do the eclipse yourself with them. But uh, if you want to, you know, kind of have all the credit to me. So I'll see you then. All right, it's supposed to be in six minutes, and right now it is 2:40. So the sun's looking, you know, still good outside, as you can see. Looks pretty good to me, but I'll go outside anyways. I think the sun's just like in between clouds right now. So when it happens, it could be cloudy or it could be out. Hopefully it's out, but let's find out. I'll probably see you in four minutes, maybe. Who knows? As you can see, it already looks pretty much dark out there. I'm going to take a look and reveal my glasses for the first time. Here they are. Put them on now. Whoa, bro, that's lit. You can see, I swear, I'm not even lying though. You can see it clearly. I can perfectly see the moon right now. It's like a little crescent shape, and you can't even see it on camera at all. I'm looking over there, pitch black. Pitch black everywhere, except for the sky. So that's how I know it actually worked. These eclipse glasses, high-tech eclipse glasses, are really working. Seven layers of glasses, and the first one is my seeing glasses. I told you it works. I I'll try to show you what it looks like here, actually. Uh, through the camera, if you can see. If this even works, here they are. You can kind of see what I see. I can still see it a lot better. But what I see is still more clear. So now I'm just gonna, hold up, scooch up. And do that. That one frame was just weirdly bright for some reason. That's why I paused it. It's just I'm cutting out every single time I say, um, or, because <gasps> I don't want that in there. I'm gonna go look at this for a while now. It takes a long time to edit this stuff too. On iMovie. The app, not even the real thing. Look at, what a good sight. I'm just gonna stare at that. So right now it's just staying at like a crescent moon, that's what it looks like. Even though it's a crescent sun, I guess. Table here. Three three actual sunglasses. Oh well, I just didn't put them in the recycling bin. And then there's just one of my normal pairs of glasses. These made it darker, but also they made it red, which is pretty cool. So they got a little bit more clearly right now that I put it on Snapchat, so it's kind of sideways and bad quality. But here you go. Ooh, new girl on the track, she sound better than you. Someone this me, I don't know on my who. Said I cast up. I'm gonna go check. Oh god, yeah, that's a full. Like two. This. Oh yeah, that's, that's mostly. That was it. Hope you enjoyed my DIY glasses. Next time the solar eclipse happened, if you're still alive when it does, definitely go use those. Because we won't have the technology to have anything better than that for sure. So definitely go use what I made. And I hope it helped you in the future. Like 70 years.